Uh, so the thing that you'll notice about, or that's said time and time again about the Alpha Juno, is its filter does not fully self-oscillate. The Juno 6 does. So that off the bat is a big difference. But to me, there's actually a much bigger difference between these filters that matters more than that that people don't talk about. And what that difference is, is resonance compensation. So independent of filter architecture, there's also kind of like a Z factor of how much the uh, input signal is fed, in, is actually increased as you crank the resonance, which helps retain the signal to resonance ratio better. The way to test this on a synthesizer is put the frequency of your filter above human hearing, which it is on both of these synths right now, and then crank the resonance. So the resonant peak will be above human hearing. And what that will do is give you an indication of like, how much bass do you lose? How much signal do you lose? So let's do that right now. I'm gonna start Lose about, what is that, about half volume there on my meter? Let me see if I'm looking at that correctly. I think it's about half volume difference there. Let's do the same test over here. Whoa, huge, huge difference in volume there, right? This is what the resonance maxed on both synths. This is what the Juno 6 sounds like. That's resonance cranked, and it's like the signal has disappeared. The Ju Jupiter 6 that came out before uh, the Alpha Junos, of course, has the same sort of sound, where as you crank the resonance, you really lose a lot of it. Um, to me, to my ears, I don't know about you guys, uh, there's always, always, like I'm gonna prefer the synth that has more resonance compensation, more of a boost or drive into the filter as you crank the resonance so that you retain that signal. It gives it that beautiful crunch to it. Um, but I think back in 1985, again, Digital was all the rage. People wanted synths that sounded thinner, brighter, more metallic, like the DX7. And I think Roland overcompensated and gave people what they wanted for short, in a short-sighted sort of way, where we get these synths that have uh, not enough body when you crank the resonance. You lose some too on the Juno 6, but compared to the Alpha Juno, uh, the difference is, is pretty astounding.